So in October 1582, they're saying, time to jumpstart the system. So they took 10 days out of October. So October like 15th followed October 4th. Okay, did I get wow. do my numbers right there or something yeah, like that? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. And you have to like I don't know if that was the invention of amortization, but how do you decide what rent to pay? Right. You have to sort of get the fraction of the month, yeah, to multiply yeah, yeah. divide, exactly. multiply by your rent by yeah. the fraction, and that's what you pay. We still stay with the four year rule, except every hundred years, which is still divisible by four. Right. Because a hundred is divisible mm-hmm. by, four. by four. Every hundred years, we take out the leap right. day that would otherwise be there. There you go. Okay, now. However, the Jesuits were badass. They said that undercorrects it. Undercorrects it by a little bit. If you look at the undercorrection, now it's gonna happen on a even longer time scale. So what you find out is at what rate have you undercorrected it? Every four hundred years you got to put a leap day back in. Back in. Because uh-huh. the 400 years is still on a 100-year cycle. Right. But every 40, you got to put it back in. Now, who is alive to remember to do this? Let's celebrate that moment, that moment. And then you don't have to worry about what they call the day, what day of the week, right. what day of the month. It's the orbital time. How do you count in time around the sun? Okay. That's your birthday.